Start earning immediately as a trader while using this strategy? Well, in today's video, I will be showing you the most profitable trading strategy that is used in either crypto, stocks, or forex market. This strategy was created by Jesse Trading. As it noted that you can easily boost your account if the strategy is applied correctly. So make sure you watch till the very end to understand the real secret behind this strategy as I will be back testing the strategy to find out if this would really make you a profitable trader. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Now without wasting much of the time, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, for this strategy, we will be back testing it on the Euro Japanese Yen, and we will be using the 5 minutes chart for this strategy. Now let's quickly add the indicator we would be using on this strategy to better understand the concept of this strategy. For the first indicator, bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the Nick Rypok trailing reverse by Evergit. And for the second indicator, let's search for the quantitative qualitative estimation QQE by Kavanch Osblidzik. Now for the last indicator, search for the Hawkeye volume indicator by Lazy Bear. Let's quickly adjust the settings for this indicators. For the first indicator, double click on the Nick Rypok trailing reverse to bring up the settings panel. On the input, change the coefficient of correction to 0.3. And on the style, I want you to uncheck the buy and sell label. Click on the OK button once you are done. Now we have our chart looking like this, as we would be using the default settings for the other two indicators. Now, let's go over the rules for a valid buy and sell signal, as we would back test the strategy to see how profitable it is. But before we move on, let us understand the concept of these indicators. So the main idea of the strategy is for us to trade with the trend and capture the best point to enter the market during the active market. We will be using the Nick Rypok trailing reverse to identify the current trend in the market. And for the QQ indicator, we will use it as our signal to enter the market. We will also use Hawkeye Volume as our confirmation to see whether the signal is valid or not. Now for a buy signal to be valid, we need to have the Nick Rypok on green as our first confirmation. Now we would want to see the QQE give a new buy signal, as we would want the buy signal be triggered below the zero line. Before we go ahead to open position if our Hawkeye indicator is on green as well. So we see we met all our conditions here, as we have the buy below the zero line, as well as having the Hawkeye on green column. And we can as well see we are in a bullish trend as confirmed by our trend indicator. So we would go ahead and place a buy stop order at the closing of the trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be at the recent swing low, while take profit levels are at 1.5 times the risk. And we can see it was successful, now let's go over the errors to avoid if we must use this strategy. Please note that we would not be taking trades if we have the buy signal above the zero line on the QQE. And also note that price must be above the Nick Rypok indicator. So as we see here, we see we have two conditions met as the price is above the Rypok and our Hawkeye is on green but we won't be taking this trade because we had the buy signal above the zero line. So here is a valid buy signal we would have taken. We see we met all our conditions, as we can see we have the buy signal below the zero line, as well as having our Hawkeye on green. We can also see we are in an already existing bullish trend. So we will go ahead and place a buy trade at the closing of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss and take profit remain the same. And we see it was successful. Exactly the opposite is true for a short trade. 
For a sell position to be valid, we need to have the Nick Rypok on red as our first confirmation. Now we would want to see the QQE give a new sell signal, as we would want the sell signal be triggered above the zero line. Before we go ahead to open position if our Hawkeye indicator is on red as well. So we see we met all our conditions here, as we have the sell above the zero line as well as having the Hawkeye on red column. And we can as well see we are in a bearish trend, as confirmed by our trend indicator. So we would go ahead and place a sell stop order at the closing of the trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be at the recent swing high, while take profit levels are at 1.5 times the risk. And we can see it was successful. Here is another sell signal we would have taken. We see we met all our conditions, as we can see we have the sell signal above the zero line, as well as having our Hawkeye on red. We can also see we are in an already existing bearish trend. So we will go ahead and place a sell trade at the closing of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss and take profit remain the same. And we see it was successful. Okay guys, let's now quickly back test our strategy. We will be using an account size of $1,000 for the back test, as we would be going over 200 back tested trades, as well as risking 1% of our account size on each trade. And at the end of the video, we would be ranking it on our spreadsheet to compare it with other strategies back tested on this channel. Let's dive into it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see the win rate is below the half percentage range. We see we had a win rate of 48%. Having 196 trades and lost 104 trades, which made us 40% return on investment, which is still profitable. As it is still a good strategy for a short time frame. And I found those trade setups within 11 weeks. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading because it was not included in the back test. So you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. The profit factor for this isn't much impressive as we had 4 wins in a row against 7 losses in a row. So expect some drawdowns while trading life as they mostly occurred while we were on a ranging market. Okay guys, let's now compare the strategy to some other strategies I've already tested on this channel. In terms of return on investment, this strategy is not the most accurate one. 40% return on investment is not bad for a short-term trade, as it still made some profit from the market. If we take a look at the win rate, which is probably one of the most important metrics, we can see that the strategy is actually on the benchmark for a 1.5 RR ratio. So yeah, traders, definitely give this strategy a try, and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading live. By the way, if you have any strategy you would like to try out, please let us know on the comment section. Also, feel free to check out my other strategies tested on this channel as link to this spreadsheet is on the description. And also, I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. So make sure to check them out as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.